Hello and welcome to another episode here on my channel. My name is Kevin Small and today we have to talk about the big gaming news because apparently Nvidia has leaked every game in existence. Like we are talking about games which have been released, which have been cancelled and games which are still in pre-production, which are not coming out for the next five to six years and they gave us a handy list to not only see the name of the game but which studio is developing it, who is the publisher and most importantly which platforms those games are coming out. And there are three questions right now. Where is this list coming from? Is it real or fake? And how does it help us? So let's answer the first question. Where is this list coming from? Well, a few months ago, uh, somebody who was much, much smarter than I am was looking for security flaws and they found one in GeForce Now, which is GeForce slash NVIDIA's cloud based gaming system and they were like hey nvidia you have a security flaw out there and we can basically access your database you might want to fix that and nvidia's reaction to all of this was mm. so people found out about it people looked into the database and they found this a super long list of literally every game in existence and every software in existence and, well, they were releasing it. Now, you immediately ask the question, but Mo, is this list real? We don't know for sure. But there are a lot of reasons to believe that this is real. First of all, this list is extensive. If you want to go through this list, you probably need an hour or two. I kid you not. You will probably need an hour or two to go through this list. Second, this is coming from NVIDIA. Keep in mind that every video game, no matter if it is a smartphone game, if it is a console game, if it is a PC game, is getting developed on PC. Right? That's where video games are being made. I know it's shocking for some people, but that's how it works. And all those PCs are using also graphic cards. They're using AMD and GPU cards. So it makes sense that NVIDIA basically has a list very early on about games which are getting developed on their cards because they want to make sure that those games are functioning. Not just running well, we are talking about literally functioning. So they are helping out studios, they are giving them special drivers or they are giving them tips, they are helping them out. Like whenever there is a problem which arises with the GPU, NVIDIA will be there and of course also AMD and will try to help that studio so that they actually have a list of all those games which might run at some point on an NVIDIA card makes absolutely sense. You're just trying to lock those better away normally. And as I said, like the, the list is super extensive. I don't really think that anybody made up this list by just putting names in there. We are talking about tens of thousands of games. And we are not just talking about the game's name. We are talking about prototypes. And especially those prototype names are helping us to understand what's going on here. And again, I believe help us also to understand that this might not be a fake. So let me give you an example of a prototype, Project Holland. If you're hearing this, it's a Microsoft Game Studio, you might think, well, I, don't, I don't know what this is. How does this help me to understand if this is real or fake? Well, Project Holland was the prototype name for Fable, the new Fable game. The same goes for Project Typhoon. Project Typhoon was the prototype name for Contraband, which was announced a few months ago at E3, where we still don't really know what it is. But you might think when somebody puts in, like makes a fake list with all those games, they use the real names, right? Like people sometimes dream about their, their most beloved game coming back, like Fable, or there's a new Gears game coming out or we are getting a new Sly game on the PlayStation or something like that, right? Like most people who create those fake lists, they're not using project names. They're using the names they remember because they, they hope to wish those games into existence again. But that they are 
hundreds of project names from different studios makes this much more believable. I have, by the way, no clue what Project Woodstock is. Um, that might be the new Arcane game, which was announced at E3. Maybe. Who knows? But, I don't know, this playground game. I take that back. But that brings us to the next thing. What does this list do for us? Well, as I have already seen, and as I failed at that, you can not only see the name of the game, you can see who the publisher is, you can also see who the developer is, and then you can see which platform this game might come out. And this is unknown. We, we don't know. And yes, this is not just for Microsoft, this is also for Sony. Well, actually, no, in this case, it's PlayStation. There we go. There you can see like all the, uh, the PlayStation releases, like PlayStation Mobile Inc. is the publisher, which um, is something Sony is doing as of late, like when they have like uh, games which might come out on the PC or like uh, global games, they're also having this mobile ink thing. It's it's a bit weird. If you're wondering why it's called PlayStation Mobile, this is not unusual for Sony. Uh, we can also see the development studios here on the side, right? We have like Soccer Punch for Ghost of Tsushima. And then we have, of course, Demon Souls, the Japan studios. Uh, we have From Software, which is working at Derisheim, whatever that is. That's interesting. And... This is also very interesting. You can see God of War here, right? And they have three versions of it. Why are there three versions of it? Well, I assume there's God of War for PlayStation 4. There's God of War for PlayStation 5. And there's God of War for the PC. Why do I say this? Because when we are going over here to the platforms, we can see that it ends up in Steam, and it's still to be announced. So it does actually show up on the Steam. Now, before you're looking up every platform and every PlayStation game and you want to see if this game is coming on, out on PC, calm down. Like, there are not as many information on which game is coming out on which platform as you might hope for. And also keep in mind, this list is like a few months old, so things might have already been changed and projects got cancelled, other projects got added. They decided to release not those games on the PC. Like there are so many things, so many variables in this list that I might be curious to see like which games are on the development and which um, which studio is developing which game right now. That might be cool, that might be helpful, but it isn't really an explanation on when a game is coming out on which platform. Like if you were looking here for release dates or release informations, you will not find that here. And if you don't have the knowledge what those project names mean, then it doesn't help you at all. Like, let me give you a super easy example. Platinum Games have Project GG. Do we know what Project GG is? I don't know. I have no clue. Maybe an insider knows. I, I can tell you I don't. I've never heard of this. But it doesn't really tell us anything because it is unknown which platform it's coming out. Uh, Platinum Games is also the developer and they're also the publisher. But that's it. This doesn't tell us anything. This could, this could mean everything, anything to be honest. So, yeah. This list is neat. It's a big screw up on NVIDIA's part. Believe me, if there's one thing studios don't like, it's leaks, especially when their prototypes get leaked or their projects. That, that's, that's the last thing anyone wants because then people start to ask questions. I can already see that there are 
a bunch of fans and journalists who will know as Platinum Games, hey, what's Project GG? Tell us more about it. Like, that's the last thing you want. So, yeah, that that sucks for everyone who is involved in this. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nice information to have. I think that's the TLDR. It will not tell you when a game is coming out. It will not basically give away when which game is coming to which platforms because they can change daily. But it's still an interesting list. As always, I don't really know if it is fake or not, but there are a lot of signs here that this is actually a real list, right? And it's helpful to a certain degree. But that's it. You can find the uh, you can find the list in the video description if you want to check it out yourself. And that was it for me. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you're on your way out, I would appreciate if you might click on the like button. If you didn't like this video for whatever reason, well, the dislike button is right next there. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more gaming news, tips and tricks, reaction videos, and everything gaming related, then you came to the right channel and would appreciate if you might consider to click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you are actually getting informed when a new video is coming up. And if you ever want to catch me live, you can do so on trovo.live slash chaosmall and you can do that from Monday to Friday starting at 9 a.m. ET, which is 2 p.m. UK time and 3 p.m. Central European time. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.